Well, a 76-year-old Oahu man thought he won the lottery. Yeah, he didn't, but instead got conned out of 64,000 bucks. Christina Wetter reports on this and other scams Kapuna need to be aware of. It's what everyone dreams of, winning the lottery. So when a 76-year-old Oahu man was told he won, he believed it. But he also believed he had to pay taxes on his winnings before getting it. And so he was instructed to go through to all the Walmarts and Walgreens on the island, uh, max out gift cards, Amazon gift cards and prepaid Visa cards. And then he used all his credit cards, his legit credit cards, and maxed it out to a total of $64,000. And then on Sunday night, he called back the scam artist and read the numbers on the back of the gift cards. And that money was gone. $64,000 gone in one weekend. Unfortunately, this isn't a first. A lot of people are still believing that they won the lottery. And in order to collect their money, they have to pay an advanced fee. They have to pay a tax beforehand. Scott Spolina is reminding everyone that taxes don't work that way. You get the money, then you pay taxes. Spolina is the city's supervising deputy prosecuting attorney for the Elder Abuse Justice Unit. He said this lottery scam is just one way Kupuna are getting tricked. Another, through text messages. Now text messages with like mystery links. Um, and then you click on the links and then all of a sudden you're downloading things onto your phone that will track your banking activity, that will track you, track what you do, track where you go. So if you get texts from somebody that's not on your contact list, delete it without even opening it. With tax season beginning soon, Spolina warns of another scam Kupuna could fall for. You can get the IRS calls saying that um, they're filing suit against you, there's a bench warrant against you, you're going to be arrested, um, so you have to pay us money in order for the IRS to not harass you anymore. Don't pay, just hang up, so you don't end up like the 76-year-old man who spent $64,000 thinking he won the lottery. The police are still investigating the case, however, they don't know where the money went. If you or a family member is ever in doubt or have become a victim, report it to local authorities. For Kupuna Life, I'm Christine Ueno, KHUN2 News.